God is saying to you today, Believe that I will see you through every tear you shed. Because I am planning a gift just for you, and I have seen your problems and tears. My dear child, I have seen your struggles, and I have seen your struggles, and I have seen your tears within the story of your life. You are about to begin a new and important part for which you have been making plans. This new part of the story will change everything for you. Today is the week that all of your hopes and dreams will come true. And you will have more good luck than usual because of this. You have nothing to worry about. They know that you are at a turning point in your life right now. So they are always keeping a close eye on you. There's always someone watching over you and making sure you are safe, that someone is your guardian angel. Watch this video all the way through to the finish if you want to see miracles happen in your life in the near future. Everything in your life will get a lot better, including your health, your relationships, your job, and your money. This is something that you should expect to happen in every part of your life. Yes, this is a very clear sign that something miraculous will happen next week that has to do with you in your position. You've been working hard toward a goal for a while now, and you're almost there to feel grateful. You need to say thank you and have hope that you will get what you want. Both of these are important parts of the feeling. I was crucified with Christ, the thief said, but this is not true. I was there. I'm not alive anymore, but Christ, who lives in me, is still alive. Neither of us depends on the other for anything. We have nothing to do with each other and are not at all dependent on each other. I live this life because I believe in the Son of God who loved me and gave his life for me. If you believe in God, Please show your support by liking and sharing this video. The Lord spoke up and said, I am sending my angels ahead of you to destroy any plans the enemy has and stop them. You don't need to worry about a thing because I've got you covered. Whatever you've been hoping for will come true. People are talking about you in places. You haven't been yet, even though you haven't been there, because God is involved. Your life is about to change in a way that will blow your mind. Jesus told those who wanted to follow him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Your luck is about to change for the better. Everything will work out for you. And everything you do will be successful during this time, which will last a long time and be very good for you. You can show your love and blessings by giving thanks up to $100. Miracles are going to happen in your home very soon. So get ready to enjoy the great times that are still to come. God is making up for these chances and wasted time. Miracles are going to happen in your home very soon. God has said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Only I can talk to the Father directly. I am the only solution to this problem. The heavens will line up so that your life is full of pleasure, happiness, good health and wealth. 
God has told you that tonight is the last night. You will cry, worry, and be nervous. There will be a lot of good things happening in every part of your life. And because of that, you will forget about all your problems before this weekend even comes around. 222, you will learn the information and skills. You need to develop a gratitude for life and make the things that will help you the most tangible. Type 222 if you believe. The Bible says because God loved the world so much, He gave His only Son so that everyone who believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. This literally means because God loved the world so much. He sacrificed as one and only Son as a sacrifice for it. Come to me if the thoughts of having no hope, being lost and being down have worn. You are down to the point of exhaustion. God says that I will give you pleasure forever. I will take away all of your pain, fears and problems and replace them with peace of mind, never-ending happiness and great health. God is giving you a fresh start by ending every bad habit that has been running in your life. Get ready to move forward in the name of Jesus and get your hearts ready. You are about to enter a new part of your life where you will feel more independent, wealthy, lucky, and strong. God, before the end of this month, I will send you many good things, including bigger smiles, improvements in your finances, and more chances. Early tomorrow morning, a miracle will happen in your life. This miracle will lead you to a new level of success that you have never known. Before this new level of success will change the course of your life in a way that has never been seen before. Because of this miracle, your life will be devoid of everything that adds to the worry you feel. And you will make major strides forward in terms of your own personal growth. Believe that angels are now watching over you. And have faith that things will get better soon. Be sure that things will get better soon. You need simply Keep making space in your head so that you may be open to taking in new information. The chance that you have been looking for will offer itself to you very quickly as a direct result of the preparation that you have done. The next few days of this week will be full of amazing wonders, exciting news, big breakthroughs, fresh ideas, and even more benefits. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you, and I will uphold you with the righteous hand of my right hand. God's words to his people. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be, be dismayed, for I am your God. Because of this faith can only be gained via hearing the message and hearing. The message can only be received through hearing the word of Christ consequently. The only way to obtain faith is through hearing the word of Christ. 444 even before you had the remotest idea of what you meant to do with your life. God has already devised a plan not just for your journey through this universe, but also for the time you will spend living here 
on Earth. If you believe in God, type 444, there may be times when you have to fall short of the goals you set for yourself so that God can use you for His own purposes. Keep in mind today that God spoke the world into being so all of His promises to you will definitely come true. You have a great number of reasons for having an upbeat attitude for the years to come. You deserve to be showered with blessings, and I pray that you can find hope and strength during this difficult time. His communication was always honest, and it was easy to see that honesty mirrored his behaviors as well. God has spoken to people and said, I want you to know that all of your prayers are being heard. It is very important that you have no doubts about this. If I can't give you everything you want, it doesn't mean that I'm not listening to what you have to say. It just means that I can't satisfy all of your needs right now. Just because I can't give you everything you want doesn't mean that I'm not paying attention to what you have to say. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He spoke into existence everything we see around us. The mountains, the oceans, and the stars in the sky, and yet of all the things God created, there was nothing more precious to Him than humanity. Type Amen if you believe. We are all created in the image of God. We are fearfully and wonderfully made with unique talents and abilities, and yet so often we forget the purpose for which we were created. We get caught up in the distractions of this world social media, work, and other activities that consume our time and attention, but God has a message for us. A message that is more important than anything else in this world. God's message is one of love, redemption, and hope. It is a message that has been passed down for generations from the prophets of old, to the disciples of Jesus Christ. And yet this message is not just for the church, it is for all of us. Wherever we are in life, whether we are struggling with addiction, feeling lost and alone, or simply trying to find our place in this world, God's message is one of hope and healing. So what is God's message simply put is God loves you. He loves you more than you could ever imagine, and He wants a relationship with you. He wants to know you to walk with you and to guide you in this journey we call life and as we embrace. This message it changes us. It transforms us from the inside out, filling us with a sense of purpose and meaning. It inspires us to love others, to serve those in need, and be a light in a world that so often feels dark, so wherever you are today. I want you to know that God's message is for you. It is a message of hope, of love, and it is a message that can change your life forever. So open your heart to God's message, read His Word, spend time in prayer, and seek out a community of believers who can support you on this journey and as you do. I believe that you will experience the transformative power of God's love in your life. God bless you and keep you now and forevermore. Type Amen if you believe in God. Today, 
I come to you in prayer to ask that you watch over my thoughts and keep them safe in your heavenly kingdom. I make this request because I know that you are able to do so. I would appreciate it if you would give my request some thought and if you could comply with it. I implore you with the utmost humility to keep a constant eye on my thoughts and a guarantee that they continue to be pure and focused on carrying out your will. I ask this of you because I have the deepest respect for you. I am cognizant of the fact that my adversary intends to throw me off guard and fool me. But I have faith in your ability to protect me from any damage that may be sent in my direction. 555. It is essential to take a step back and examine the ingrained thought processes that have become second nature to us over the course of our lives. Your steady demeanor and sensible advice are always appreciated in each and every one of these settings. We may be able to build a mentality that is more optimistic and gratifying for us if we make the intentional decision to think. Faith rather than fear, optimism rather than negativity, service rather than selfishness, purity rather than contamination, and love rather than hatred. Type 555 if you believe. It is not always simple to change our thinking, but if we put in the work and have the aim of doing so, we can educate our minds to concentrate on the positive elements of life and to make decisions that are in keeping with our fundamental values. Changing our thinking does not always come easily, but if we put in the effort and have the intention of doing so, we can change our ways of thinking. Let's make it one of our objectives to welcome each new day with an attitude that is full with love and hope and optimism. Let's make this one of our missions when I find that I am readily deviating from the path. I should be on it. May be rather difficult for me to get back on track when this occurs. May be very difficult for me to deviate from the path in the first place as a result of this. I've settled on the idea of getting in contact with you in the hope that you'll be able to provide me with assistance in retaining my attention and continuing down the correct path, your direction and advice can make all the difference in determining whether or not. I am successful in achieving my objectives and remaining committed to the course of action that I have selected. I really appreciate your help. I am grateful to you for always being there for me and supporting me in any way that you can think of. When I think back on the path I've walked this far, I am overcome with an immense feeling of gratitude and reverence for the divine presence that has been with me at every turn of the journey. When I reflect on the route I've traveled so far, I am hit by this feeling when I consider the journey I've made up to this point. I realize that I've come a long way and covered a lot of ground. This is an admission that I make with a tremendous amount of self-assurance because it is the only explanation for why I have been able to do either of those things. And it is the only reason why I have been able to persevere and triumph over the obstacles that have been placed in my path. I have only been able to do either of those things due to the unrelenting support and direction that has been provided by a higher power. In point of fact, I am certain 
that if God had not been an ever-present part of my life, I would not have been able to come this far, and I most certainly would not be here in this very room right now. I say this because I am certain that if God had not been an ever-present part of my life, I would not have been able to come this far. I say this because I know beyond the shadow of a doubt that if God had not been an ever-present part of my life, I would not have been able to get as far as I have been. It is a revelation that makes me experience a feeling of surprise and astonishment at the majesty of the divine. But at the same time, it makes me feel quite humble. This emotion of wonder and astonish at the grandeur of the divine is caused by this revelation. Amen. O oh, all-powerful God, you are the only one in whom I place my unflinching confidence and unreserved dependence. You are the only one in whom I place my hope and my future. You are the only person I lay my unwavering confidence and unreserved reliance. I could not live without you. You are the solid ground that my spirit is rooted in and the source of all of the force that I draw from. I am grateful that you could be there. I have entire faith that you will direct me to the course that will provide the most advantages to me, and I entrust all of my hopes, dreams, and ambitions to your skillful hands. I am certain that you will lead me in the proper path, and I am certain that you will show me the way. I have complete faith in both of these assertions. You. My sweetheart is the one and the only person who is capable of satisfying all of my wants. Angels are saying the next three days will be filled with jaw, dropping blessings, open doors, healed bodies, new contracts, overflowing, and favors you have never seen before. Type Amen if you watch this video till the end. God says, I am sending great change into your life. I have heard your prayers. I know your heart and I know you want better. Like this video, if you believe in God. I am sending better and greater your way. You have endured much in your life. People have walked away from you, judging you, but it only matters that I say you are staying on the path. I didn't create you to be perfect. I created you to be faithful. 12-12 next month, you will receive $1 million in your bank account from unexpected sources. Type 12-12 to offer. Jesus says, Call on me on the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. If you want to attract a lot of money, start today. Check link in comments below to know the shocking wealth secrets revealed by rogue NASA scientists. Be grateful for every experience, place situation, and person you encounter every day. 11, 11, the more you focus on the blessings and express gratitude, the more positive experiences and opportunities you manifest into your life. Type 11, if you believe in God's blessings, God says, treat people with respect and love. Be very mindful of other people. 
Many people are going through so much and the last thing they need is to be put down. Enjoy this life by blessing other people. I love you. Type Amen if you agree. It is time for you to think for yourself and make decisions and choices based upon your own truths and with what resonates with you. Seek your own freedom from the restraints and constraints of other people's opinions and listen to your own heart. Be who you truly are and be proud of that. Subscribe our channel if you believe in God. I just want to pray for every single person who has been struggling with anxiety, depression, hopelessness, and even suicidal thoughts. I pray right now in your mighty name, Jesus. Type, I love you, Jesus. I pray that your peace will begin to enter into their soul right now that weights will start to come off of their shoulders. They will begin to realize and wait a second. I am loved by God the way I am and He has a plan for my future. I will get through this. I can hold on. God can restore what is broken and change it into something amazing. All you need is faith. Type Amen if you have faith in God. Sometimes God holds you back until the road is safe and clear to continue. Be thankful. What is meant for you won't pass you by my child. God bless you. This will come as a complete surprise to you. I am reorganizing everything in such a manner that it will be more advantageous to you in the long run. Put your whole trust in Jesus Christ and recognize that God is in charge of everything else in your life. This is the most advantageous way to proceed through life. The Tremendous Power of Monetary Assistance Miracles and blessings that are on their way to you from the universe are about to bring about a change in your life that will be noticeable in some manner. Get ready to have your trust restored and know that I am placing you in position to experience everything that you have asked for. God has made His voice heard and He has stated, I am repairing the broken pieces of your life. God says, I will openly admit that there are occasions when I feel that they are acting in a manner that is not just, and I will do so now. But, O oh Lord God, as I reflect back on certain situations, I can now see how you have been there the whole time working things out so that they are to my advantage even though I did not understand it at the time. You have been working things out so that they are for my benefit even though you have been working things out. This criteria can in no manner be disregarded under any circumstances. During the course of the next week, you are going to see a momentous occurrence in your life that will leave you speechless. Something that you have been hoping for crossing your fingers will finally materialize for you at some point. It is essential to maintain an attitude of openness and acceptance. I just wanted to take a minute to express my gratitude to you for all the beautiful things that you have given to my life. I am aware of the fact that I have not earned your love yet. Despite this fact, you have been patient with me. All glory and honor to the Father who is forever. I just wanted to take a moment to show my appreciation to you for all of the amazing things that you have done to my life. 
I am grateful. Your salvation from God will come in the form of an interruption to the plans that you have formed of an interruption to the plans that you have formed. If the door can be closed after it has been opened and closed, then it is in the correct position to be closed. Please don't go insane, all right? Because the drive for financial success is at the heart of a diverse range of other types of dishonest behavior. Certain individuals have drifted away from the faith and have caused a great deal of suffering for themselves by doing things that they know are not right in order to satisfy their unquenchable desire for material gain. 444. Starting the week following, all the love, healing, and financial prosperity that is justly given to you will start to pour into your life in the way that it is rightly supposed to. If you believe in God, type 444. Everything that God is working on within you and through you at this precise moment is part of a flawless preparation for a future that only He can see. This preparation is for a future that only He can see. These steps are being taken in preparation for a future that no one but He can glimpse. I am conscious of the challenges you have faced as a direct consequence of this situation. You should be aware, however, that despite the depth of my affection for you, I will never put you in a circumstance that is out of your league or beyond the scope of your talents. The reason for this is that I care about you a great deal. It is a waste of time to wish that things were different. Since nothing will ever change, no matter how many days you spend away wishing that things were different, I want to reassure you that you won't constantly be experiencing these experiences. Please allow me to explain you should never give up. Keep in mind that the size of the harvest will correspond to the number of seeds planted. Whoever plants a small number of seeds will get a little crop, and whoever plants a great number of seeds will get a huge harvest. Today, God wants to communicate with you about something, so make sure you're paying attention. It is imperative that you do not lose sight of the fact of the difficulties you are presently facing are not going to be with you indefinitely, that you are worn out as something that I am well aware of. It won't be long before God intervenes in your life through a miraculous event on your behalf. In a relatively short amount of time, there will be new prospects that may be investigated after a stretch in which things became progressively worse. It appears that things are now turning around for the better. The capacity to recover from wounds has shown signs of increasing visibility. If you are currently reading this, then it is a sign from God that the times in your life that will bring you the most joy are already here and just waiting for you to experience them. It is important that only positive ideas come into your brain when you are focused on the many aspects of the manifestation that you are working on right now. A pronouncement from God. May the good pleasure of the Lord be upon you. He is able to magically rescue you from the predicaments you are in and raise you up in your life because you are clinging to Him. Everything that has happened as a result of the fact that you are clinging to Him is due to this. Wait till some time has passed before you take action. 
Do not let your want for instant fulfillment blind you to the numerous factors that are now working in your favor. So don't let the surge distract you. This should not be done. Even if you don't see everything materializing right away, it doesn't mean that good things aren't going your way or that they aren't already in the works, even if you don't see everything materializing immediately. It doesn't mean that wonderful things aren't heading your way. Even if you don't see everything materializing right away, it doesn't mean that great things aren't heading your way. Just be patient. Keep in mind how essential it is to have patience as well as loyalty. Maintain your confidence in God. God says that you have the capacity to achieve a lot of things. But if you don't have devotion, then you won't be successful at any of them. Help me get the word out by sharing this video. Thank you. Make sure that I am informed of all of your plans at the beginning as it is the most important thing. I will form them according to what I believe will provide you the greatest amount of happiness throughout your life. And I will shape them appropriately. You are the apple of my eye. It is not meant for all people to understand what you are saying, which is precisely why not all people. To understand what you are saying, make an effort to prevent yourself from being disheartened. I get what you were trying to communicate. You are the apple of my eye. The miracle that you so desperately need is currently en route to you at this very moment. Put an end to your fretting because an important event is due to take place in your life very soon. I have no doubt that you and the people you care about the most will prevail, despite the difficulty of the situation. Don't freak out over it. There's no need for you to worry about being dragged down by any obstacles that you might be facing right now. Since I am able to carry the weight of the entire world on my shoulders, sense of this you do not need to worry about being dragged down. God says, if you make my participation in all of your plans for this week a top priority, I will make sure that everything goes well for you. I ask that you give this some thought because the star of a whole new week has just arrived. You should try to have a positive attitude. I pray that God would bestow His grace and mercy upon you and everything that is taking place in your life. Because they demonstrate respect for another person's praise and thankfulness. Put a person on the greatest loving frequency that is possibly attainable. The following books make up the sacred scriptures, the ancient Hebrews held, the conviction that the act of conferring a blessing on someone might, in addition to bringing about happiness, bring about success in all parts of life. This view was based on the idea that the practice of bestowing a blessing on someone could be traced back to biblical times. They possessed an innate comprehension of the power that is bestowed upon those who are blessed. This is what God is attempting to teach us. Those who have high aims and an even more broad purpose will frequently find themselves confronted with the most difficult problems and issues throughout their life. God is trying to tell us that those who have lofty goals in an even more expansive purpose will frequently find themselves 
confronted with the most difficult challenges and issues. Challenges and adversity will find its way to those individuals so that they may mature into the type of people who are ready to take on the kind of life they want for themselves in the future. This is necessary in order for them to be able to deal with this kind of life. They envision for themselves in the future. Every single challenge that you are required to overcome has a specific purpose, and everything that you experience provides a chance for you to develop further as a person. The path to greatness is often one that winds its way through a complex maze of difficulties. I beg you, Lord. If you could assist me in putting the happenings of the past to rest, it would be much appreciated as it will allow me to face the here and now with an open mind and heart. I want and pray that other people may get some benefit from my experiences and insights. I am struggling to see the positive aspects of the world around me, the people I interact with, and even myself, and I need your assistance. I also need your assistance to recognize the positive qualities that I possess. I would love it. If you could think of me in a way that was grateful as well as happy, please do that for me. Help me to live a life that is selfless and loving as the one you have chosen for yourself and thank you for your assistance in doing so. Amen. Congratulations. You have gained clarity on God's will for your life. You have made it through the difficult phase that you were going through and ended it effectively. At this point, you should have started to experience the miracles that have already begun taking place around you for the better. These changes should have a positive impact on your life. It is true that I am the one who has selected you to improve your health, your financial position in your general level of contentment. Yes, this is a statement of truth. It is also true that I am the one who has chosen you to improve your total level of happiness. If you agree, type yes in the box. You are going to receive an enormous quantity of additional advantages and rewards. As soon as you are promoted to a job that is going to be assigned to you very soon. As a direct result of the overwhelming sense of joy and faith that those who are close to you will experience. As a direct result of the enormous satisfaction that you will feel. This is going to be the case because you are going to experience it. Keep an open mind at all times. Put on your thinking hats for this one to you. God is saying today, keep in mind that the only thing that differentiates a good day from a bad day is your state of mind. To be successful in overcoming each day, it is vital to recognize that you are the one who is responsible for the formation of the energy that constitutes that particular day. Only then can you hope to emerge victorious. It's the same as having the weekend off as long as you don't let your external responsibilities determine how you feel on the inside. I'm going to make up for all that you've let slip through your fingers by helping you in the future. God is now working on writing your tale from the very first letter to the very last. Do not give up on your entire system of beliefs 
just on to the fact that there are still certain things that you have not experienced for yourself. If you agree, type yes. There is no reason for you to be worried about anything at all since all of your concerns will be alleviated and everything will work out just as it ought to have. Put your faith in the procedure, acknowledge that you are responsible for the energy that you are sending out into the world and observe as your goals. Start to materialize in front of your very eyes as you put your confidence in the process. The Lord God says, I am grateful to you for the substantial amount of effort that you are presently devoting to the completion of this task. I am pleased to see the amount of work that you are putting forward, and I want you to know how happy it makes me. You are the apple of my eye. I have a plan in place for your life. And the goal of that plan is to make sure that everything works out for the greatest end that is possible given the circumstances. Even though you might be feeling confused or upset right now, it is important that you do not lose sight of the fact that I have contacted you. As a result of the current situation of the globe, the inhabitants of this planet are forced to endure a tremendous, a lot of agony, misery, and the feeling that they have been betrayed by on the other hand. In addition to that, it possesses a sizable quantity of happiness, amazement, and beauty inside its framework. Give the bulk of your attention to the positive things that this planet can supply you with and make those the primary focus of your thoughts. Pay attention to the things that this world can provide you with additionally make an effort to produce something constructive out of the pain that already exists in the world. Permitted to have an effect on who you are by permitting it to contribute to your growth. If you give them permission to do so, God promises that his benefits will chase you down and overwhelm you. If you give them that permission, you are going to find out that you are just where you should be at the exact moment that you should be there when others have a favorable image of you. They are more inclined to go out of their way to help you this is especially true if you are in a position of need. All of my best wishes for you are being sent your way from every possible direction. It's possible that God led you to believe that you are being rejected at the same time. That he was shielding you from something that was going to take your place in life, kill you, and take away your destiny. Keep in the back of your mind that God is something magnificent to prepare for you and keep this thought in the forefront of your mind at all times. I decree that you will have amazing physical health, a constructive thinking success and abundance healthy relationships meaningful connections, serenity, and advancement in all aspects of your life, including spiritually, mind, and finances. Type Amen to Manifest. Thanks for watching. Subscribes for more God's messages.